How We Make Movies is brought to you by Microsoft Surface, Assimilate, Azo, and hosted by the film collective WeMakeMovies.org. It's obvious that there's no way to get around showing violence and the danger that these guys were in. But one thing that struck me about the film was the way you portrayed the characters, and I say characters, I mean the real soldiers that were highlighted in this, and you were able to um, humanize them without showing a lot of violence, as much as you would expect. Um, why did you make that choice? Early on when we saw the footage, and there is footage that we have that's graphically violent, mm -hmm. and um, we, Christian and I, um, spent a lot of time discussing this because we wanted to make sure that we honored the families of the fallen. We have a a film that has people that have actually really, their their day is in the film. They lost their lives in a day that we were shooting. And um, and it's not just the six main army characters, there's 33. There's 32 males and one female. And when we started focus grouping the film and meeting with the people in the film and the families, there was just no way that we could leave it in and be respectful. So we tried as filmmakers to utilize music and the audio bites that we had that were real to still tell the story and still show the violence without physically showing the end result. I mean, now you mentioned focus groups. What importance did focus groups uh, play in the, I guess, marketing of this film and also the development and the you know final editing? Yeah, the uh, we didn't use traditional focus groups like NRGs or Nielsen's like most Hollywood films do, where they get men, women, black, white, you know, everyone in the room kind of. We, we went to the soldiers, the Marines, and their families, mm -hmm. and we used them as our focus group. And we wanted this to be as real as possible because this is the first time ever that this level of access has ever been granted, where a journalist actually was on the front lines with the soldiers and Marines in a battle Taliban all around, bullets flying at them multiple times. Um, so it had to be real. And uh, in order to make it real, we had to have them give us their input. And we got unbelievable notes from them. We got notes that us as filmmakers not being there never could have gotten otherwise. We got notes from widows who were watching their husbands last day on camera and seeing what they went through. And they gave us some unbelievable notes that we incorporated. So that's why this film is so real.